Well, thanks for staying with us here on Sunrise. We are back in at the kitchen and we're about to start our dessert. When was the last time you enjoyed and treated yourself to some delicious ultra milk custard? That's what we're gonna be doing uh, this morning. And it's uh, gonna be accompanied by a trifle. That's what we're making, Chef. Yeah, we're making a trifle. Uh, relatively, it's known as a fruit angelica. Fruit angelica. Yes, okay. that's a Greek word. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. for, for it, it, it's in a Greek dessert, you know, uh, mm. where you put a base of uh, cake on mm -hmm. the bottom and you line up fruits and then you put your custard, you put your whipped cream, you know, mm. you just go all crazy on it. Just, yeah. just umonye, please go umonye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. So what are we doing right now? I see you've got a Swiss roll. That's your base that you're that, that is about. the base, yeah. You need a sponge base. Uh, a sponge the, base. Yeah, yeah, this is a Swiss roll. So what you basically do, it's an easy step. You know, you just easily just put them together. Mm. You know, create a nice base, firm one as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that you can start lining up everything together okay. and create uh, a nice uh, looking fruit angelica. So it sounds like it's something you can play around with. So there's not a set and a, a, a strict way of say, this is trifle, you can change it up. Yeah, It no. doesn't have to have certain ingredients. You can, like you say, if you have the base, mm. you can pretty much play around with it. Definitely, definitely. So what are some of your favorite ingredients that go into a trifle? What are some of the things that, what are we using today? Let's go with uh, that. Um, we're using grapes. Uh, we have grapes, we have uh, this um, figs, you know, fresh figs. Um, it's going to be nice and fruity. You know? Nice and fruity. Yes. What is the word you said? Fruit angelica. Fruit angelica. Okay, yes. so that's what it is. So yeah, we've angelica got cake, fruit, you know. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. So we've got figs, we've got grapes. Um, is this sugar prunes? I yes, see. yes, uh, that's sugar prunes. What's a sugar prune? I mean, I know. well, you know, you know, dried prunes. Yeah. <laughs> is this where it comes from? <laughs> this is where it comes from. Okay. There's always a fruit before it's dried. Well, of course, yes. of course. Well, I always thought it was like a plum that was dried or whatever. Nice. Okay, so mm. we'll see how that one pans out. And then obviously, custard plays a big role in all that. Oh yes, yes, yes. Custard is is, is the main thing that uh, makes every um thing, every fruit angelica come together come together so we're yeah. just using uh, so it's custard there's no whipped cream or anything no we want to have whipped cream oh we are oh, yes this, we, yes. we, we want to have here. the fruits on top of mm -hmm. the base then we want to have whipped cream and then we want to have the custard mm. and then we're going to put some almonds flaked almonds on flaked top. almonds mm. i'm gonna toast those ones or no yeah, we, yeah, we, we can we toast because you know when you toast uh, almonds, they release uh, the oils, yeah. the natural oils, and, mm, and it yeah, just makes it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely excited. I can tell you, people, we are having a feast this morning: mm. baked fish, beetroot, and fennel salad, and then our, our um, trifle that we are looking forward to. So make sure you come and see the final product coming through in a short while. I'm really gonna enjoy this dessert as well with only. Uh, an, we, as we know, only ultra milk custard gives you that thick, uh, rich, and creamy custard experience you have always uh, known and trusted over the years, and that's what we're going to enjoy today. Thanks for staying with us right here on Sunrise as we wrap things up this uh, Thursday morning into the Easter long weekend. Uh, of course, uh, Chef Sia is uh, putting final touches to his dessert. Let's see. Yes, that's the fruit angelica. Uh -huh. We're just going to pour the uh, cream, double whipped cream, okay. on top. And you double can, whipped cream. Yes, that's double whipped cream. Just mm. two. And then. So that's the triple berry custard truffle. That's the one. Okay. That's the one. And then we can add our. All right, the star of the show. Yep. There you have it. It's some ultramel. Yeah. Ultramel all over. Go. All over. All over. All over. All, all over. over. Yeah, okay. don't all, be stingy. All over. All over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. And then you're going to throw in some almonds. Yes, roasted. Okay. Mm. All right, there you go. And then that's it. It's done. It's a full meal. You can serve it for your Easter weekend lunch. Uh, of course, what's you got the beet beetroot uh -huh. and fennel beetroot salad. And uh -huh. Fennel salad. Yes, we've got the baked, the baked fish. fish. Okay. Uh, and we've got the Mediterranean. All uh, right. Veggies. veggies. There you have it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a full, healthy meal for the week here for this Easter weekend. Just celebrations closing off the show. Uh, you can go catch them in Canvas to this uh, weekend, as you heard. Uh, that's it. We are